welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. So next we have alerts. Alerts uh, is basically this is the best um, definition. So basically, you get the at alerts of what's happening in your organization, what your users are doing in Office 365. So you could set a policy and all that. No there are two alert policies uh, already like uh, uh, recent alerts or whatever you want to call them they give you an idea what happened and they say somebody perform e-discovery this is important e-discovery somebody search your data so you need to know okay somebody searched what they were looking for and all that like we discussed in the past that uh, if you are the global admin doesn't mean that you have the all, all the right you go and assign uh, admins different rights and then you need to keep an eye or your organization wants to keep an eye what's going on what those admins or users are doing <clears throat> users have less access admins they have a lot more access than a user so it, it's a good thing that uh, not uh, <clears throat> one user has all the power like in this case uh, global admin but like we were uh, assigning everything to Ali so Ali has a lot of more access than any other admin so that user Ali so that's why it's ideal to keep an eye what's going on uh, you said data and all these tabs like uh, threat management data loss prevention and all that so <clears throat> they're gonna go through there the, the, here is the data less and threat is management right here so <clears throat> it, they if we click on this one it's going to show it's going to show you that it's the medium severity was started at or exported and active new alert tenant admin who ran it or, or, or sorry it was sent to and you can view activity list and then it will show you who started and what this searched yammer that's what we did or if you remember from that video so <clears throat> these are the alerts trends but can you view alerts then it will show you all the alerts that are in the past you can export the list or you can filter if like it's a huge list over here alert policies if you have created policies they will show up here so you there microsoft has created uh, already some of the policies they are in effect like uh, this is threat management threat management started or exported so that that's what applied to uh, what we did this one right here so this was the default policy by Microsoft that is was built in there and when we did this it, it uh, triggered and got notified in view alerts so if we click on it we can see that the severity is medium it's all user single event all that so it's on and daily notification limit is none there's no limit as as long as somebody does the discovery this will get triggered and there's nothing to you know show you the settings uh, so oh the, the, it was right there edit policy so we can show oh there's nothing so we can close and try to create a policy so we can see what's really in there so new alert policy we can name it something test alert policy testing alert policy severity we can low medium or high we can go with by low it's category data loss prevention like what kind of uh, a policy it is so it's will be one of these it could be data loss prevention t threat management information governments or permissions or if there's more okay mail flow or others so for example information governance it would be like uh, governing the information everything that's in there that is shared that is accessed all that so permissions like if somebody is accessing a file or all that mail flow rules we have seen that like how all that <clears throat> So let's go with the other and let's see what we have. Activity is 
user submitted email detect malware in files shared files or folder so we have quite a long list of activities so <clears throat> they will be triggered so if you can hover over them it will give you a little bit uh, like what does this uh, this uh, this activity will do so, so for example updated group site administrator owner change the settings of group for, for, for a site so when they change the setting for a site or group that is associated with the site what are the group membership and how membership requests are handled so this is about that so there i don't want to go here so download a file upload a file allow the computer to access a file sync file something like that so these are default that you want to do <coughs> uh, like uh, policies that you can choose and for example you think hey can i do that can i do this you can come here and look for it and there's a very good chance that it is there for example denied access <clears throat> so if for example it says the an access request to a site folder or document was denied so you will get an alert hey this file was denied <clears throat> to that user now this is good in two ways one way like implemented you can be sure that okay if that file is not being accessible by what kind of user and if you want the users to have access to it then you know you can go and edit the properties if you look at the other way if that file is is you know very top priority file and only a few users should have access to it of course other users are being den access denied but then you want to see why this for fo this file is being tried to be accessed by so many users what where is the leak what happened who shared it uh, who was not supposed to with the general users so these are all the policies so let's go with anyone like dlp assessed file <coughs> add a condition we can add a sap address so we can that range so if this ip address try to access file trigger the alert there is a condition that if a certain user try to access that and then there is another one like file name what's the file name that is being accessed site collection url and file extension so these are like let's go with the user so if aslan <coughs> now we have two aslan so if either one of them try to access a file and there's another condition oh same so you can put all these condition and an activity matches the rule <coughs> no limit again so basically imran will get a, um, an alert in in the email that either of the aslans try to assess the file it could be any file on uh, SharePoint or OneDrive. So review your settings. These are all everything, and then you can turn it on right away. Keep it off. I will turn it on later. You have two options. What do you want to do? I turn it on right away. <clears throat> so if I try and go to access a file, it will be triggered, and uh, it will show up here. We can actually try. um i don't have a link so let's try something uh like this let's go we remember the admin mm, did the um like admin did uh, uploaded some files so we're gonna basically create a file link and share it with aslan and see if that uh, policy will be triggered or not there might be a latency issue that this uh, policy is not active yet so then in that case we will not see the uh, alert <coughs> so let's go to the files and where are the files where is this files it was like general January 4 no files here desktop support it communication site this is it so company database and 
nope that's not downloading we just want it uh, as a read only is there a link or something share copy link so let's go so we copy the link and suppose uh, copy link uh, so let's say that this link is being shared by uh, with Aslan so Aslan um, OneDrive oh no let's go with this way put this link here and it should ask the credentials it did so Aslan get the let's ask Aslan to open this file obviously this file will either be downloaded or it will be open in access uh, online access is it online or is it the local version it seems like the like the one we installed in the computer yes it is so let's see uh, in if the policy we have the alert or not not yet is there a re so it seems that the um, even though Aslan uh, accessed that file, it could be latency, like it will be slow to uh, show up, something like that. Uh, sign in, let's Aslan and so let's go to so that file has been accessed let's go to the alert refresh it so it's not there yet we will check it later like uh, test policy is low date modified the status is on so it's not there yet but uh, what I can do is I can wait um, like I hate to do that but I'm gonna wait a little bit and see if it shows up or not but basically that's how you do that and this policy as soon as the criteria is met it will be triggered and I wanted to show it like right away but it's not so let's exit out of it This latency issue, like view alerts. All right, so let's wrap this video here. I'm gonna see if the, uh, the alert shows up here for Aslan. I'm gonna update the video or make another part and show you. If this video has helped you. Please read, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next one. All right, so as soon as I was just about to click uh, the compile button, I see the it came away uh, like it came straight away. Low severity alert, test alert. A low severity alert has been triggered. Let's click on it and see what it's saying. So the admin account received an email severity alert is low file access user as land so this is how uh, the um, alert policies work whatever you set conditions as soon as they are met they get triggered and you get a notification so now the the email was quick uh, like the um, admin received an email okay Aslan is trying to access this file or Aslan like they wanted to monitor if Aslan access any file in this case and that's what happened uh, you could specify something or like that but it's uh, you see that it, it's in the email but uh, right there but it's not here yet so this is good idea like this is definitely a latency issue it's slow to appear here it will appear here 
not just as fast as it did over there so all right so i waited like maybe 10 minutes uh going back to alerts and you see the alert is back in there so what i did is i signed out from all the office 365 series uh like all the windows um, um a web browser actually and waited about 10 minutes so it was you see it showed up uh, here um, so that that was the policy that we ran earlier it we got the email almost immediately but due to the lanes latency uh, issues or something it's a little bit slow to pop up in the admin center but it did show up so I'm glad I waited um, so this is how you uh, create alerts policies and whenever that thing that you set up uh, happens in your organization office 365 it gets triggered and then it shows up here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i will see you in the next one